and welcome back to Overlord. And apologies if I get cut, cut off there at the start. I have a habit of start talking a bit too soon. Um, I'm just used to Camtasia, which has its three countdown seconds. Um, and then it's straight into it. Here it has the same thing, but it's not on the screen scene. Three, two, one, record, or whatever. So, I'm um, apologies if I got cut off. Oh, I just noticed this stuff above the doors here. I think I saw that one previously, but I didn't really pay much attention to it. It's in the seat, though. Like I said before, this game had a lot of potential, but at least uh, it's a little bit buggy and whatnot, so it couldn't live up to it. But you know what I was thinking about was, you know, for at least, you know, some minions that you have, if you could ha have armor made for them down there in your armory. It just, it's just a nuisance to have to go run and farm up gear for your minions. And especially since it's already cost you gold to make your own armor. You know, you could toss, you know, some of your money in, you know, towards getting your minions some good gear. Make sure it's vastly inferior, well, uh, yeah, vastly inferior to your own. Like, I, you don't want minions running around with, the, you know, the same kind of stats you have. But if, you know, they could have some least decent gear made here. It doesn't have to necessarily be the best gear, but at least it's something to uh, help him keep him alive. Because didn't when, when we did the testing recently, were my minions still getting slaughtered by the rock robbers? Rock robbers, like seriously. And especially with your reds and blues and browns. Uh, sorry, not browns. But he's got minions, but. Uh, bar rounds are actually somewhat physically fragile. The extra good gear may be useful for them. Or you can make it a browns only thing, because that's the brown special thing. You actually see the armor they wear. They're the ones that wear armor and various weapons. The others still have the equipment, but you, just the, for the gear up, you know. They don't actually, you don't see them wearing it. So maybe they could find some restriction like that, and you can only gear up your browns via this or something. I personally would just like, you know, actual equipment for the minions in some capacity that you can make. Um, even if it's not that great, it's at least it's you know something. Um, here, I'm just gonna alt tab, make sure I'm actually recording, and I'm recording right. Um, I just I can't remember. Okay, game auto detect, games on screen, all as well. I can remember it was over when the ones that get auto detected or what? Basically, with X, it will auto detect if recording a game, uh, if you have a game playing, but it won't do it for all games. Serious Sam 3, for example, I have to just record my full screen and go from there. Same with StarCraft uh, 1. Uh, 2 probably is fine, but it could go like Overlord or Serious Sam. I have to wait till I actually get onto it to find out. Um, we'll go stronghold. Actually, I could go to the pass. It'll be much quicker. Um, yeah, let's go to the pass. Oh yeah, remember when I was saying when you spawn into the different areas, the different events will happen. It's been a few days back. Okay, this is a new one. Okay. Uh, this is a new one. I said over there, there's like, there'll be dwarves with flamers attacking the sheep and the slug coming across the bridge. Those are two separate events. But as you've seen, like I'm surprised here, I haven't seen all of the events. Clearly the dwarves aren't a fan of my presence. I need to farm up some more greens. Okay, there you go. I'll take one wood. Christ. See, this is why I would like to make them some equipment. These, a no, fair few of these don't have any weapons. Okay. You know what? Fuck this. Have some fire. Ooh! Okay. 
Okay, there we go. Recall all. I'm going to sweep these over here. Okay. Okay, kill. They should be able to kill it before, without anyone dying. Recall. You're a bit late on the trolls. Okay. Oh, there's another one over there. Like, seriously, I've never encountered this before. I just don't think I've ever spawned in while gold in in here that much while Godo is still alive. Come on! Christ. Okay, just sweep, uh, shoot to my head. And good. They'll eventually head up here and try and kill these guys. So yeah, I, uh, when you spawn into different places, different events will happen. Uh, as far as I know, this is the only place where that really happens, to be honest. Um, it doesn't actually happen anywhere else. Um, it's it's very nice thing to ha a detail to have in the game. It certainly spices it up. Uh, a lot of games can get kind of boring or... Lonely is the word I keep wanting to use. And it's probably right. But, I don't know right now. Um, oh, nice. The fortifications block their bomb throws. You chose poorly. Well, I mostly chose a poor time to throw them, but whatever. They send them out. Alright. They're great. Now they're showing free will. As if it wasn't bad enough. Uh, but yeah, I don't remember what I was saying. Um, I don't know if they've ever, uh, if there's much changes anywhere else. Um, uh, you know, the, what, well, you know, what ha- Wait. Okay. You know how, like, you spawn in here, um, you have to fight all these enemies. I don't know if this happens anywhere else. And okay. All right, better go in and around and try and beat the snot out of them. Uh, I'm not sure if all browns is the best of choices, but there's a few spawners in there that I can use to uh, replace them if not. And also, one thing I've been thinking, I might go back to the. Uh, the heaven place, sorry, the abyss, uh, he heaven's peak abyss place, and farm up some sheep heads because I'm thinking those were good enough that someone replaced hero gear with them. I know, I know, I'm putting way too much emphasis on hero gear. It's just in these kind of games, I end up putting a lot of emphasis on different things, whether or not the emphasis is deserved. I don't know why. It's just me for you. Um, like I'm a little obsessed with hero gear. And I think it is pretty goddamn good gear, but it may be not to the point as I, you know, obsess over it, if you get me. Wait, what? What? Oh, fuck's sake. Um. Okay, I regret everything. Uh, go over there. Okay, I'm gonna wander... I'm gonna wander back and get some more. Okay. Uh, but yeah, basically, I was, I was saying I was thinking of farming up some sheep heads because they appear to be good gear. And especially in this difficulty, I need as much good gear as possible because minions are absurdly fragile. They're pretty fragile as it is normally, but they're even more so now. And I think I lost the one with the sheep's head. Unless there was one or the two that were stuck over there. It's impossible to know. I thought they'd all come back to me. But they were apparently hanging around where the bomb was. At least I got six uh, life stores back. And they glitched out minion. 
Yeah, no, I lost them. Um, but yeah, I think I might farm those up because they are apparently pretty good bits of equipment. Um, I'll just have to look into, um, think about it because y y it's kind of more awkward to farm them up. Here, if you want to farm up the gear here, you just go break a couple of barrels. If you want to farm up gear elsewhere, like farm up. Come, come on. If you want to farm. Well, that's a lot of bombs. World's most sturdiest wood. Um, if you want to farm up the sheep heads, it's a bit more awkward because I think there's only a handful of the sheep that spawn it. Um. So you have to get it, then spawn, then leave, then spawn back in, and try again. Certainly, there's easier to get gear in the game than that, but it's like right before the end, at least of the base game. Um, so maybe I'll look into getting this stuff. Um, I may look into farming it up because it could be beneficial. But again, maybe I'm just putting too much emphasis on it. This probably looks like right below the thing here that they all want. Um, fell through the floorboards. Don't know. It's a guess. I mean, it's just aren't geared for this. It's like you don't just have to worry about your own gear. You have to worry heavily about theirs. Because they are your main source of damage. Uh, well, you can do heavy damage yourself. If you die... You ha it's game over, or you have to restart, or whatever. If they die, it's you can lose something more. Um, plus, if they're all nicely geared out, they can do a truck tons of damage. So can you, of course. But it's, you know, just, I don't know. It's easier to deal with enemies with a ton of well-geared well out minions. They're your main weapon, you know? Um... Even if you are incredibly dangerous yourself, they are really important to have well geared. Okay, nothing there. So, anyone want to fight? Let's try and provoke one. Oh, Christ! C come on! My minions are made out of. I know. Cheese. Maybe bar, maybe bar peanuts. At the rate the, the uh, dwarves went through them, Just rip them apart. Well, I, w I lost four already. I think there's a few nodes you can spawn in things at, so it's not too bad. Just I don't want to have to go all the way back to the other thing. Uh, you know, the spawn point, even if it is just a little back. The Mother Goddess statue. Stolen. They make us work. Build a new temple. Ugh. I confess, Master, I have been hatching somewhat of, mm, let's call it, a cunning plan. I won't okay. the details just yet, but it involves gaining access to that statue. Okay, um, that guy just glitched through one of my minions if, if you didn't see that. Like, seriously, mate, why didn't you just, like, glitch out of your chains? Glitch an axe into y your captor's brain. You know, I'm just making sure I'm recording. Recording locally, yes. You know, like, seriously. Y you know, you can apparently do it, you know. When you're, you know, on your deathbed, you could do it some other time. Unless that's his special ability. Only when dying may he, you know, f you know, bend physics over a desk and fuck it. You know? My, well, I got creative. Oh, believe me, I won't. God damn, this is going to be difficult. Okay. These are what I was talking about previously. 
the combination of Melvin and the rock joint. Kill? No! I know some of my minions have gone down to the right, I don't know, and I, I don't know what they're up to, nor do I care right now. They certainly do give nice amounts of stuff, I have to say. Wait, what? I think I heard the doorbell. I don't know. Uh, they do give a nice amount of uh, min uh, resources, but it's very dangerous fighting them. As you saw there, well, you didn't actually get to see it with the dwarves, but they are very powerful. They run your minions over, they're dead. I think you can take a few hits from them, but you don't do very well against them at all. Um, yeah, no shit now. And also, why does it keep switching me to those spells? They're not exactly mana um, efficient. Here's the dwarves did it. Shit ton of damage to to these guys to the first one we fought. It was on like half hit points. Very nice. Made it much easier for me to kill. And as as you kind of expect, these enemies don't actually um, don't exactly give you any equipment, though they certainly do give a lot of resources to make up for that. They're like the forest trolls of this area. The moment I start recording, the, you know, doorbell rings, dogs start barking. Normally I record at night, but my sleep schedule has been a little messed up. Meaning I actually wake up during the day like a normal person. Um, so... I have... Um, so, yeah. Basically, I don't record during at night. Well, I can't record during the night. I'm waking up during the day. Try to fix it then uh, by waking... By adjusting my sleep schedule. Just end up waking up at night anyway. I can have it focus. Oh, Christ. Kill it! Kill it! Okay, maybe it isn't as powerful as I thought. Or maybe I just got lucky. That is quite, quite possible. Absurdly so. And some of the dwarven gear got to make like, the hat made, made, it, made its way down there. Interesting. I was scared for a moment they encountered another dwarf. To be honest, I don't trust my minions to actually win in a fight, even if it was against a shadow. I'm not talking about a shadow of like one of the unit enemies from Kingdom Hearts. I'm talking about a literal shadow. <laughs> Come on! I was gonna make a joke about how like, the enemy nearly tricked you there, didn't it? This is oddly enemy-shaped, oddly enemy-shaped rock. Just standing there, totally nearly got me. For a moment, I thought I got a pink life source. And I was like, wait, what? <laughs> no, no, it's just, uh, I think I got a brown and a red at the same time. Come on, big boy. Imagine having these as your minions. Like, just like, you know, eat force or something. Not like your normal ones. But wouldn't that be cool? I would like something in the evil, like, in the same genre or style as an Overlord game. But more... I don't know. Uh, my mind just keeps going to, like, you're actually collecting tides from your, um... Uh, oppressed villagers. Sorry, there's more background noise distracting me. 